welcoming from behind, as someone has said, asking to the American team. You can describe a little bit this, this race, uh, seven, four, four, and finally the rush, incredible rush, gold medal. One of both, one of you could explain a little bit what was a tactic, tactically this race. Well, um, tactically, um, we wanted to win them. <laughs> what? Um, what can I say? Um, we we're just, just in great shape, but like, just a band of buddies, just wanted to, to swim fast and have fun. And that's the way you gotta, you gotta swim every of your events, you know. Um, and after that, that's it. We just enjoyed it a lot, and we tried to do our best, and we made it. So that's pretty cool. We're pretty pleased about it. <laughs> Please questions, but uh, really fast questions because they have to lose the control. There. Fabian being the only one I think uh, doing the race this morning too. If you all had done this race this morning, would there have been a world record tonight or? Yeah, every year it's really hard because we begin to have a big, big relay in France. Many swimmers can swim in the final, so we have to do a big choice every year. Um, about technically, it was still hard because Russia, USA, and Australia have a pretty good team, and it's every year really close. We win for nothing today. Maybe in two years we will lose. It's every year they will say. We are really happy to win London, won London last year, and still today be, be here in the final. So I think French women begin to build year after year, and we are really proud to raise the guys like uh, Russia, uh, USA, or Australia, because since few years now we know each other, uh, we have a lot of respect for this swimmer, and we are really proud to raise the guys like that. Are you super happy Michael Phelps was not in the race? I don't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> but Fabian, you? No. I bumped into him uh, on the side of the pool. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool for him being here. In fact, Fabian Giraud has been the fastest swimmer in this contest today, 46.90. You know? Enorme. Enorme. <laughs> question? Oui, on y pensait parce que tous les ans c'est vraiment très serré, euh, ça se joue à très peu de choses, comme je le disais euh, il y a quelques minutes, cette année on gagne à peu de choses, dans deux ans les prochains championnats du monde on peut les perdre à peu de choses, c'est ce qui fait un peu la richesse et le côté excitant d'un 4x100, c'est qu'on ne sait jamais qui va vraiment gagner, c'est toujours très serré, quand je vois le relais des filles, des américaines et des australiennes, ça se joue une fois de plus à la touche, donc euh, tous les ans c'est euh, une course très particulière. that you were uh, only coming to do the, uh, the relays. When and why did you decide to do the 200 to the single event? Um, once in Baltimore, after a few sessions, I felt good in the water and I was like, I went to see Bob and say like, I want to do the 200. I think I want to do the 200. I feel good and I feel maybe in shape. And we'll see. I, I, I just wanted to have fun, really. Um, I'm, not, I'm not like, 100% because of my the whole season, what happened and everything. Uh, but anyway, I really want to race. I want to feel that and just listen to my national anthem. <laughs> and the crowd was really crazy. And it feels like home, actually. So, yeah, that, that was pretty cool. No questions? I mean, we have the doping controls. Yes, they have the doping controls. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.